So you're thinking about moving to Bonnie Lake, Washington? Well, in this video, we are going to take you inside the computer and show you around everything that you need to see on Google Maps so you can get a great idea of the different neighborhoods, what's close by them, how far it is to get to the airport, and all of that. I'm gonna walk you through every single step and stick around until the end to find out one of my favorite things about Bonnie Lake. And we're getting after it right now. All right, so here we are in uh, Google Maps and we're just taking a quick look at Bonnie Lake. So as you can see kind of like right here, you can see Bonnie Lake. It's kind of the area. So it is surrounded down south by uh, Tahale and Prairie Ridge, which both, you know, Prairie Ridge, not so much, but Tahale is included in um, Bonnie Lake. And then a big portion of Lake Taps up here is also part of Bonnie Lake, but Bonnie Lake proper does cover about 8.1 square miles. So it's overall, you know, a pretty small town. Your population inside of Bonnie Lake is uh, just around 25,000 people. So if you're kind of in looking for that small town feel, then this might be a, a really good option. Uh, other places that have a nice small town feel with similar types of vibes are gonna be places like Sumner. And I would also say, um, Ording as well and then Buckley out here those are both great options for um, kind of a smaller town feel living uh, in the in the area so let's go ahead and let's just look into Bonnie Lake a little bit let's look at some of the uh, important things here so one as far as neighborhoods go one that everybody pretty much rants and raves about is Tahale and so Tahale really uh, it covers this kind of this entire space here okay it's a it's a big it's a big space um, currently what you see right here is kind of phase one of Tahale so this neighborhood this master plan community is growing exponentially fast um, and it is a very coveted, um, sought after area to live in, in the Pacific Northwest. And there is phase two starting, and that's going to start filling in kind of all of this. And they're actually looking at having about, uh, 9,500 homes in this one area. So the phase two will be um, a little different. It'll be about six times the size of what Tahale is right now. Another really great thing about Tahale, which is fantastic, is Tahale Heights. So there's actually a school, there's two schools inside of Tahale. Uh, both are elementary. So here's Donald Eisman, and then it doesn't look like Tahale Heights. There we go. So here we go, get everything else kind of set up. So the Wesley, here's Lennar, here's Tahale Heights. This is where my son goes to school. So a lot of people, whether they're living, you know, in um, what neighborhood they're living in, they're walking their children to school right now. The one thing that I would advise against is with any new build, builds inside of this area, you're immediately thinking, man, I, you know, Austin, I'd love to walk my kid to school every day, right? But anything new that's getting built inside of Tahale, they are now starting to send those kids out to Ording School. So down here in um, this kind of general region here, there's Ording and all of these new schools here, right? Are all these new homes, sorry, are sending kids to school in Ording. Now here's the downside. You would think we could do something like this right to ordering schools. That's not the case. So unfortunately, everyone here is leaving Tahale. They're fighting traffic. They're going up and around. You know, they're coming through all this. And that can be about a 30 minute drive. So if you're looking at a new build in Tahale, that is something to, I would say, pay attention to. 
Uh, also here on the south end of town, one of the things that's super convenient is as we get um, into everything, these schools are all kind of in a, a similar area. So as you're coming up out of Tahale, you have Mountain View Middle School right here on your right. So this is where my, my daughter goes to school and you have the high school kind of in this general region. So they're both, one is on the right side, one is on the left side. It's very convenient. So if you have children in middle school and high school and they fit these zones, like you know where they're gonna be going. And even some of the other schools like Victor Falls Elementary, it's not super far away. Uh, Liberty's, Liberty Ridge is just down here. Here is what becomes a huge problem. There is really only one way in and one way out of all of this. So if you're coming out of Tahale, you know, then you're going to be stuck if traffic is backed up for kids getting out of school here. And then it's also, you know, getting backed up, going, you know, coming out this way. You really can't get out of Tahale at all. You're just going to be sitting there. And the same thing goes if you need to get into Tahale. Our, our main road is the 410 here. This is uh, what we call, some people call the hill. If you live in Tahale, this is the hill as well. No real differentiating factors. But coming off the 410 and you need to go down this way, if it is a school out or school in time, you need to give yourself an extra 20 to 30 minutes to really just get through and look at things. Now, the 410, like I said, it's kind of the main road in Bonnie Lake. As you look out, it does kind of crook cut all the way through town. So everything, for the most part, is kind of situated off of the 410. And a lot of your travel, additionally, will come off of the 410. So as we kind of zoom out, you can see if you're wanting to go to Buckley Enumclaw, 410 that way. If you're wanting to 167, so 167 is an important uh, interchange to get you either to Tacoma or to possibly get you up to Seattle, right? So you're going to hit this, this 410 coming out of, let's say, wherever you're at, and you're going to make this jaunt, 167, boom. And then you're going to make some way, whichever you know route you, you want to go to get to the airport. And what I would say is if you're living in Bonnie Lake, I would say just based on traffic, I would say give yourself one hour of time to get to the airport. Now, SeaTac is obviously not as far as like Seattle proper. It's a little more south, but because of the traffic and the backups, this is something that living in Bonnie Lake, you're going to want to know about in advance. It'll make your life 10 times easier just planning that out so this could be about an hour but at the same time you know for me to get to seattle right if i want to get up here in seattle it still only takes me about an hour so that's very convenient also with travel uh sumner has a uh train the sounder that you can jump on here and it will take you right up to seattle so that's a good route to go if you need to. Uh, Tacoma from Bonnie Lake is a pretty easy drive, looking, you know, just about 35 to, you know, 40 minutes getting there, however you, you like to get there. And Tacoma, I would say for Pierce County, is going to be your, like, your hub spot. It's going to be the, the biggest place. There are definitely upsides and downsides to Tacoma, but it is a, uh, it is a really good spot to be in. So. If you want to see entertainment, dinner out, things along those lines. Now in Bonnie Lake, there is a couple of really cool places. One of them uh, right here is the Fennel Creek Trailhead. This is a really popular hike in the area. So uh, I always encourage outdoors. Outdoors is super important. So if you like the outdoor areas like Fennel Creek Trail is great. Victor Falls City Park. This is kind of an interesting one because Victor Falls is a beautiful waterfall. And when you drive by it, like you're not going to see it. If you get out of your car and there's this tiny little park next to a house and you kind of peek around, you'll see this magnificent, uh, stunning waterfall there. So that's a good one. And then of course, up here we have 
uh, Allen York Park, and we have Lake Taps, which is popular for, you know, boating, swimming, basically all kind of water sports, primarily all year round. Lake Taps is glacier fed, so it's kind of cold. I'll tell you, it, it takes a while in the summer to, uh, to get set up, but if you really like lake living, Lake Taps is definitely your uh, option as far as you know where to go and then of course you also have uh you know lake bonnie here as well in the middle of this neighborhood so there's a couple different areas of water for you there well, let's get back to the 410 so as you're on this 410 this is going to be your main hub for everything which is pretty convenient because then you're not having to bounce all over the place to get all your needs met you have them all together all at once downside is that means traffic is obviously going to be kind of a pain in the butt. But if you need groceries or you need some place to eat, like this is it. I mean, as you're going down the 410, if we look at like just grocery options in general, like we have Target, we have Walmart, we have Costco, we have Fred Meyers. Down here we have Safeway. Like it just keeps going for us um, as we're moving through the area. And then of course the majority of our restaurants are on 410. So right here is the gym that we go to it's prime fitness it's a great little gym next door is a wendy's so uh if you need a little post-workout temptation you know that's great and then as you're going through like there's little restaurants kind of sprinkled all throughout here and then hops and drops this shopping center here has starbucks hops and drops is a a nice little local place um sort of by right walmart you have Hungry Dog, and down here you have great places like Glow, and you know, and just there's a lot of things that go on, and we have a massive uh, Renaissance Fair that's uh, during the midsummer. It is a, a gigantic attraction. So, you know, no matter kind of what you're you're looking at, this is a really good, just kind of a preamble to what you're going to be getting when you look at Bonnie Lake and you can see here Lake Taps goes way up north. Um, this is a popular area that a lot of people really like to shop in is Lakeland Hills and I get it this looks far away right but Lakeland Hills has great shopping they've got good restaurants and a lot of things all kind of together so if you could take like the Tahale neighborhood and you would just add in more business and structure, then that is sort of what uh, Lakeland Hills has for you. And so that is a really cool area. Uh, Sky Island Drive, if you come off of this area right here, let me get my pen back up, and you go down Sky Island Drive, there are, first of all, beautiful homes. There's also our Franciscan, this is our medical center, so that's there. And there's also another emergency center up here as well. So you got a couple of healthcare options, which is nice to have a couple of healthcare options really close. Um, if you come down Skyline Drive, once you kind of hit this, you know, this greater area here, you have one of the most beautiful overlook views. Uh, I can see all the way into Tacoma. It it is stunning. So. That kind of gives you an idea of, you know, what we are looking at with the map and a little taste of what uh, Bonnie Lake has. Um, so let's take a look real quick here at the kind of cost of living. So this is numbio.com. They are one of the biggest sources and trackers of expenses. And if I look here at the cost of living, I will tell you uh, a meal for two in Bonnie Lake is 70 i'm gonna say right now you're probably more at about a 90 dollar um, cost per your meal um a beer you know might be six to eight dollars but i can tell you if you go to uh glow baba louis any places like that that are here local and big that your drink is probably going to end up kind of costing you more like 15 bucks the pacific northwest is not cheap and you already know that if you're uh, taking a peek here groceries groceries can be this area right here can be super differentiating guys you can shop at more expensive places like fred meyers or you could hit places like 
grocery outlet in Winco and save substantial amounts of money. It really just depends on how you like to eat and where the value, you know, for your money is as far as that. Uh, Transportation is primarily car. Right now, gas is about 380. I would say over the past little bit, that's been pretty consistent. That 350 to 380. Utility bills are are low. I'm gonna be honest with you, they are way way lower. So if you're relocating in from some place that doesn't have quite a temperate climate and it's either hotter or a lot colder in a season, we don't really experience that. So my electric bill is about 75 dollars. The one place that gets really rough is. Uh, water bill is very, very expensive, and that is probably one of the biggest things that is a, a giant pain for us. Currently, rent right now in just the greater Seattle-Tacoma area is $2,800. Now, of course, you know if you're renting something, you know it just depends on the area where you're renting, you know what your needs are. If it's a house, is it a condo? It's all going to vary. But I would say if you if you're looking to rent, I would say it's probably a really smart idea to go ahead and look and see if you could get pre-approved for a house just because it might actually save you some money which sounds wild and here in the Bonnie Lake area a lot of these property managers want you to have very high substantial credit they also want you to make about three times what the average rent is and they're going to verify everything I think really it feels like more deeply than what someone would do for a, um, you know, for a mortgage even. So it's it's pretty wild. So speaking of housing, here is a little look at um, homes here in Bonnie Lake. As you can see, our average sits at about right now six hundred fifty thousand ish. Um, Lake Taps is you know closer to that eight fifty to a million mark. And the Halle is somewhere between on average like 650 to 850. So there's a really broad range of homes. Uh, we also do have areas that have manufactured homes. So if you you know are looking to spend a little bit less, then that option's there. And while there are neighborhoods that are more newly built, there are quite a few that are more established. So you can kind of save some money on them. If you look right here, for example, at this house um, on Overlook Drive, all right, so if you look at this house here on Overlook Drive, it's beautiful, $1.1 million, some stunning photography, beautiful kitchen, everything looks brand new. Uh, yeah, these photos are great. And look, you can see this is nice green belt back there, separating you just on the other side of the school. So what a, what a cool, what a cool property there. And that one's gonna be, like I said, you know, more around that million dollar uh, price point. But at the same time, if I'm also inside of Bonnie Lake, like here's a nice home with a two car garage. It's a little bit older, but it's on the market eight days and it's 494. So, and if you look at your estimated payment of 2352, well, that's cheaper than what the average rent is, right? So that is, I think one of the biggest advantages to the um, Bonnie Lake area is just if you look look over here, look at these, look at this range of of home prices. It's all over the place. So no matter where really your family sits at, there is an option for you to have a home that would kind of fit your needs, uh, fit your wants. So. Obviously, you know, we would love to help you out. We would love to help you sit down on a Zoom just like this. So whether you're moving in, you know, nine or 90 days, we would love to sit down and, and help you game plan that out. I know you've had this general overview, but sit down and answer, answer your personal questions so we can make your move a little bit easier. We have people that relocate to this area all the time it's very normal for us so all my information is right there in the description box below we're going to throw up some other videos about the area that you can check out and until next time i'm austin Robinson.